Welcome back everybody. In this episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're going to be making a honey glazed ham for the holidays. Ham is something that I have pretty much every holiday and I try to keep it traditional like how my mom did it, you know, just a sense of childhood memories and putting pineapples and cherries on it. But this year I decided, you know what, I want to focus on the glaze. So we're doing a honey glazed ham with a little twist to it and it came out fantastic. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. Today I'm going to be using a half ham, but this recipe you can use a spiral ham or even a whole ham. The only difference is, is the cook time. And when cooking these, you're going to be cooking it for 15 minutes per pound. If you're going to be using a half ham or a whole ham like I'm doing, we're going to have to score the outside and we want to make a nice little checker pattern. It kind of helps give it a little bit of presentation, but it also lets it cook a little bit faster. So about an inch separation between cuts and, you know, give it a cross section so that way you get a nice checker pattern. Now in each corner of the cuts, we're going to be adding a clove. That clove is going to give a nice flavor and you don't want to go overwhelmingly with it. You know, you just want to put it in, in, in the corner. So uh, I want to say about a quarter of a cup of cloves is what you should use. Now we're going to take a half of a cup of brown sugar and we're going to rub the exterior of the ham. That's going to start the browning process and it's going to have a nice shiny look, but we're not done yet. We're going to make a nice, beautiful glaze for this ham. Now that we have the sugar all covered on our ham, we're going to get it ready for our roasting pan. Now you want to get a roasting pan of your choice. This is a recent addition that I've added to my kitchen tools and it's been a wonderful tool. I've already cooked two hams on it and a turkey and a chicken. So uh, it's definitely very helpful in my kitchen. Now for the ham, we're going to be covering it with some aluminum foil. You don't have to go crazy with this, just lightly cover it. That's going to help keep some of that steam inside there and that way it'll cook a little bit faster. Now cook time, this goes by the weight of your ham. Each ham is different, so we're gonna be cooking at 325 degrees for 15 minutes per pound. So I have a seven pound ham, so this is gonna be an hour and 45 minutes of cook time. But make sure that you do the calculations for the ham you have. About 50 to 45 minutes before your ham is scheduled to be done, you want to start your glaze. Now, the glaze that we're going to be doing, you want it done exactly right at that last 30 minute mark. So that way you can cover your ham with the glaze and, you know, cook it for the last 30 minutes. So we're going to take a stick of butter, unsalted butter, eight tablespoons, and we're going to go ahead and add some, one cup of light brown sugar. And we're going to mix all this together. A very important tip, as soon as you turn off the heat with your glaze, it's going to start hardening up like caramel candy. So you don't want that. You want to keep your glaze nice and warm. So go ahead and get your sugar dissolved in the butter. And now we're going to add in a half of a cup of honey. The honey is going to loosen it up a little bit. So this will allow the heat to be able to dissolve the sugar better. Now we're going to be adding in the zest of a half of an orange and then we're going to be adding the juice that gave this glaze such a beautiful flavor. It was so tasty and I was so impressed when I tried it. You know, I was just making a little twist on something. So go ahead and squeeze the orange in there and we're going to let this reduce for about 10 minutes. Now during that 10 minutes, you just want to stir occasionally, but you know, let it reduce and then just give it a stir. So after 10 minutes, hopefully your ham is ready to go for the last 30 minutes of cook time and that way we can apply our glaze to it. Now for the fun part, you want to paint that glaze all over your ham and you want to make sure that you get between all those cuts that you made. That's going to put that flavor all over it and trust me, just take it on there. Just paint and paint and paint and this glaze was so delicious on this ham so you get that salty and you get that sweet it was a perfect combination so try to get as much glaze as you can on your ham once you got all the glaze on there we're gonna go ahead and pop it right back in that oven for another 30 minutes and then we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes or so and this right here is what you get I just want to say happy holidays and thank you so much for watching. This ham is a very, very tasty ham and I was surprised with my results. So give this a try 
And as always, I'll leave the full printable recipe on my website, cookingwithkirby.com. I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can check that out. That glaze came out so fantastic. It had a wonderful flavor and the ham was just so delicious. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button that we can see future videos just like this. I have these recipes, they're really good, you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.